Muscle up, bar, eccentric, L sit. The strict bar muscle up is a challenging movement to learn. After building strength in the pull up and the bar dip, people still struggle to master the bar muscle up. The missing piece is the transition. The eccentric L sit bar muscle up is a drill used to build strength and control in the transition. I recommend using a low bar for this movement or placing a box near a pull up bar so you can jump to the top position. Start by jumping to the top of the bar dip with the elbows locked and a nice hollow body shape. From here, perform an eccentric bar dip while allowing the hips to pike and the feet to move forward of the bar. Notice that the shoulders stay forward of the bar for the entire dip. There are a couple of ways to perform this next part. Let's start with the easy version first. At the bottom of the dip, you can rest the torso on the pull-up bar. This allows you to take weight off the hands and makes it easier to twist the hands forward. You want to twist the hands so that the knuckles are pointing down towards the floor. From here, slowly allow the elbows to move back and down. When the forearms are parallel to the floor, you can allow the shoulders to move behind the pull-up bar as you will be able to support your body weight by pulling down on the bar. If you move the shoulders behind the bar before the forearms are parallel to the floor, you will not be able to control the transition. As the elbows are moving back and down, you also need to be lifting the legs up and forward. You want to move the legs into an L-sit shape to create a counterbalance that will give you more control. Continue to move the elbows down until the forearms are perpendicular to the floor. Notice that the chest is touching the bar at this point. Next, allow the elbows to extend as you lower to the bottom of the L-sit pull-up. Allowing the torso to rest on the bar is cheating a little, but it's a nice way to learn this movement. As strength and control improves, the aim is to perform the transition without resting the torso on the bar. As you lower to the bottom of the dip, you need to twist the hands forward so the knuckles are pointing down to the floor. Again, keeping the shoulders forward of the bar. Allow the elbows to move back and down while supporting the body weight in the hands. Your torso is allowed to touch the pull-up bar, but it's not supporting the body weight. Everything else stays the same in the transition, but this version is a little harder as you need to have strong wrist flexors to perform this twisting motion. This movement can place a lot of tension into the elbows and wrists, so I recommend keeping the rep range between one to five. As strength improves, try to slow the movement down and increase the control. Over time, the eccentric strength training will lead to concentric strength gains. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to the Sustainable Training YouTube channel as this encourages me to keep sharing great content.